Hi, everybody. Diana Morgan here with Whole Heart Marketing. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to maximize your social media to create a sustainable business and life with ongoing referrals and clients. As we move into 2021, the key words for social media success are authenticity and connection. It's more important than ever to have a clear message and make authentic connections. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, what you do speak so loudly, I can't hear what you're saying. What matters is who you be on social media as much as what you say. I always recommend two interactions per day on social media, but it's not just scheduled posts. It's being present two times a day to connect, interact and network. If you can't meet someone in person, the next best thing is virtual. Make the best of your virtual connections and interactions. Have the conversations, share with people, connect, care about what other people are doing. Theodore Roosevelt said, well, and Zig Ziglar too said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And this is so true on social media. I'd like to take a minute to share my big why, why I do what I do with social media. I have a vision of a world of compassion and love where all people of all generations are inspired and empowered to connect and share their hearts. The mission of Whole Heart Marketing is to empower and educate speakers, coaches, authors, holistic practitioners, direct sales consultants and leaders, thought leaders, change makers and other entrepreneurs on a mission on how to master internet technology to shine as an expert and thought leader, foster increased communication, connection, and community among all people everywhere, bridge the gen intergenerational gap that's been created by technology, and leverage the power of the internet to have a sustainable business in life. Thomas Jefferson said, knowledge is power. And that's why I wanna teach you how to use the internet to really have the power to grow your business. I'm gonna take a minute to share my other why, which is my son who is now 32. Uh, just to give you a little bit of my background and how I got into this business, I'm a recovered corporate misfit. I had a corporate career and I never fit in. I was always sick and I just didn't fit into the company culture. And one day my son came home and said he hated school. And I knew it was time for me to quit my job and be there for him as a parent and as, uh, as someone to guide him. So I took one of those, I call it that cosmic kick in the butt seminar where you go, I'm quitting my job in six months. And lo and behold, I got a voluntary layoff with 30 days notice. So I quit my job and I turned my avocation, my hobby into a business. And that was, uh, I was a non-denominational minister and I did marriage prep and relationship coaching. And I uh, actually turned that hobby into a business. And I did that for 20 years. I was very successful. I got to be a stay at home and a working mom. And I got to become, learn how to become an entrepreneur. And in the last 10 years of my business, I became so successful because I sort of cracked the code on the internet and figured out how to get to the top of Google. So uh, super long story short, I built my business, my wedding ministry to over a hundred weddings a year. I had six other ministers in my ministry and, and it was a great 20 year business. Well, at about 15 years, I realized I needed to complete that business. And my calling that I had turned into a business was time for it to be back to being an avocation. So I decided that I would take my skills in internet marketing and help other wedding professionals to grow their businesses. And I was very successful with that and really enjoyed it. And from there, I decided to transition to working with women who were growing their businesses and healing the world with their businesses. And that's how I came to Whole Heart Marketing. And that was uh, 14 years ago. I'm passionate about you being seen, being heard, having a voice, 
and reaching your people with your message, your mission, or your movement. And I'm also passionate about you having a sustainable business and life. And that's why I teach people how to leverage the power of the internet to have that. Five years ago, I had two major life events, actually over the last five years, where I wasn't able to work as much as I wanted to work. And because I had used, learned how to leverage the power of social media and the power of the internet, I was able to keep my business going and my business didn't tank. And, um, you know, I was able to have success and to, to stay afloat. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to have a business that you can leverage the power of the internet and have your business create a sustainable life for you. So here's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to learn the first steps to powerfully leveraging social media to grow your business. You're gonna discover the missing link to internet marketing success, and you're gonna walk away with an internet marketing strategy to position yourself as an expert and thought leader in your field and to attract your ideal clients. My hope is that what you implement today will improve your results forever and will lead you to a more sustainable business. The internet is the great equalizer. In other words, there's many ways to do it and many ways to be successful. The thing about that is, is that it depends on your ideal target market. So sometimes you can hear like you need to get thousands of likes or other times you can hear, you know, well, you have to get thousands of followers or you have to do Instagram or you have to do this or that. And the thing about it is, is that it depends on two things, your success. It depends on your niche and it depends on what you're selling. And this particular strategy that I'm talking about is specifically for your type of business. It's for someone who's basically selling themselves. In other words, you're needing to build influence to build relationships that turn into referrals and clients. This is a tried and tested strategy that I've done over the past 14 years and also implemented before in my past business. And so you have to think it's not as much about qual qual quantity as it is about quality. It's the quality of your relationships. It's the quality of your content and the quality of your connections that counts. Okay, so here's the truth time. This is my truth time lady. You can look like you're doing everything right and in fact not be. And I always tell people, just because someone else is doing it does not mean that you should do it. Again, it depends on what you're selling and who is your ideal target market. So for you, you're, I, you're, you're selling yourself in the sense of your business opportunity and you're selling product. So you need to think about both of those things as you start to use social media. Cracking the code on social media is twofold. The first part is you have to be intentional. Doing random acts of social media is not gonna work for you. And random acts of social media includes not knowing what to post and just posting anything because you're not really sure. And it includes posting things that, that are not really intentional for you and the goals of your business. The internet is full of search engines, basically. Every social media platform is a search engine. So the key to understanding how Facebook works is to think of it as a search engine. For example, how Facebook decides what you're gonna see in your feed is dependent upon the kinds of things that you like, comment, and share, the words that you use, and the things that you show interest in, just the same as it is for other people. So when you use those three little dots and you say that you don't wanna see something in your feed or you put, put somebody on um, snooze for 30 days or you say you don't wanna see this or that ad, people can do the same thing to you. So you really wanna be sharing quality content and making connections so that you don't end up being the, the content that people are snoozing and you don't end up in Facebook jail for being too salesy. So I wanna talk about those things and I wanna talk about how to use your 
personal Facebook in conjunction, in tandem with your business Facebook. For this particular strategy, you can't just use your personal and you can't just use your business page. You have to use both. You have to use them in tandem. So now more than ever, you want to be as personal as you can possibly be on Facebook, even when you're being business. So I did use the analogy of like when you work in a corporation and they have a casual Friday and you wear blue jeans, you're still going to be professional. It's the same thing on social media, on your personal page, even though it's business, it's business you're still going to be personal. And even though it's personal, you're still going to be business. And what that means is, so for example, on your personal page, you share your passion for your business. And on your business page, you share your business. I'm going to talk more about this, but that's just kind of a start. So you want to share from a place of letting people get to know you. The more people can get to know you, the more they're going to feel a connection with you, the more they're going to take an interest in you. And the more you probably noticed yourself that when you share things that are more personal, you get more engagement in your posts. And personal can still be things like quotes and things that you're interested in and sharing other people's content. When I talk about sharing two posts a day, you know, one post of your own and one post of someone else's is a very powerful strategy. But that someone else, you want it to be someone who is you know, it, it's someone else intentional. In other words, someone else who's active on social media, someone else who you feel in alignment with sharing their content, someone else who will share your content as well. And, you know, influencers in your field, um, big networkers, those, it's not just share anybody's stuff. It's share the stuff that is a reflection of your message and your brand and your social media. So part one of your social media cracking the code, your social media success is to share personal, personal business. In other words, to, sh to really understand the connection between your personal and your business page. Part two of cracking the code is to think about the fact that everything is energy. So when you bring your whole heart essence to your online presence, people feel you. The goal of your social media is to communicate who you are through your images, through your messaging, through everything you do, through what you're liking, commenting, sharing, as close to as if they were having an experience of you in person. And, you know, when you meet people at a networking event, I mean, within a couple of seconds, they make a decision about, do they like you? And what is your energy? What are they experiencing from you? It's the same thing on the internet. So you have to really understand every single thing you do on social media leaves a footprint, leaves a digital footprint. So even if, you know, you might want to like something that's not really in your brand or it's not part of what your business message is, everybody sees that. So you have to really think about every single thing about your online presence is intentional. So the goal of your whole heart marketing is to transmit your essence, your energy, and who you are throughout your online presence. So people really experience you. So you stand out in the crowd. So people feel your whole heart presence. In other words, so I always say like 10 people could stand up in front of the room and say the exact same thing. And everybody's going to pick the person that they resonate with. And it's the same thing on social media. And that's why you need to stand out. So you shine as the unique person that you are. The internet is a 24 seven networking event. So imagine if you went to a networking event and you just, you know, you, you meet 30 people and you shake hands with them and you get to know them and you introduce them to other people. And, you know, so think about when you go to a networking event, you want to put your best foot forward. I know we're not going to networking events in person right now, but try to imagine what it was like or 
maybe imagine going to virtual networking events. You're still going to dress nicely. Maybe you put makeup on, you present yourself well, and you don't go there just to sell. You go there to care. You go there to connect. And it's the same thing on social media. On social media, you have an opportunity to network and connect and brand yourself 24 seven. And here's one of the things that happens with a lot of people. So not, you know, you know, you should be posting and you know, you should be connecting and you know, you should be doing this and that on social media and you're not doing it and you're not doing it. And then you have a sale or you have a promotion and you go like, well, at least I'll just put that out there. Well, the thing is that what you're doing is just selling, selling, selling. That's, that's all you're doing. Even if you only did it once a week, it's still all people are going to see of your online presence. So it's crucial that you're out there mostly interacting, connecting, and networking. And here's another, here's a staggering statistic for you. Okay, take a deep breath as you let this in. Every second, millions of connections are made on the internet. Just like you shake hands with somebody in a networking event at that event with 20, 30, 40 people on the internet, you have the opportunity to have millions of internet handshakes, which are hyperlinks. The link from social media to your website, the link when somebody tags you on social media. All of those are the internet handshakes of people introducing you to someone or someone to you, giving you digital attention, if you will, opportunities to stand out. So it's crucial that your online presence is a reflection of who you are and your core message. So you may be asking, why Facebook, Facebook, Facebook? Okay, well, I'll tell you. Here is some, a whole list of the most current statistics. These are all statistics from the end of October. 2.7 billion daily active users, Facebook users, you know, just a bunch of statistics that you can take a look at while I'm talking. But the reason that I focus on Facebook, and, and I actually teach all social media platforms, but once you learn Facebook, so Facebook is the mothership. The other thing about Facebook is that once you learn Facebook, all of the other platforms are set up fundamentally the same way. It's just a different demographic, different mechanics and different content posting. So it's important if you're gonna be using social media to be on Facebook. You really wanna be on as many of the platforms as are relevant for your business, including Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. But you have to be on Facebook and you have to be present and you have to be consistent with your online presence. Now, this is the first time I'm saying this and it's a kind of a, um, it's something that I've been, I've been aware of, but now it's it's a fact and it's considered in Facebook to statistics, which is the last statistic on that list. As of October, there are 120 million fake users on Facebook. So what does this mean? Let me tell you what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean, okay, forget it. I'm not going to do Facebook anymore. Doesn't mean that because you can still use Facebook. It's a powerful marketing opportunity. Here's what it does mean. Don't friend anybody you don't know. And if you, even if you, they know, uh, I used to say, as long as they know 60 or 100 people that you know, it's okay. But now I say, don't even friend them. Ben, always go to someone's online presence and look at them and check them out and see who they are. Because you don't want to have, um, you don't want to be friending people that are fake profiles. The other thing is on your business page, make sure if you're doing boosted posts or if you have a credit card in your Facebook ads uh, business manager, make sure you have a limit of $100 or $200 because somebody can hack your account and, you know, start using your Facebook to, uh, to run fake ads. So, um, so that's the most important thing right now. The other thing is, it's crucial even more than ever that you keep your Facebook personal profile personal or you are gonna end up in one of two forms of Facebook's jail. Either the shadow banning where they just basically, you know, hide your posts or actual Facebook jail where they take away your, uh, your platform. 
for, I don't know, weekend or a week, someone took, got it, they're taken away for 30 days. And also there's a lot of mistakes being made right now with people's platform, uh, Facebook getting taken away. So if your Facebook does get taken away, it may not even be that you did something wrong. It might just be a mistake. Um, so why am I saying all of this? I'm saying all of this because Facebook is important and yes, it's 2.7 billion people and yes, use it, but you have to really diversify. You have to really consider all social media platforms and not just be stuck on Facebook. You also want to have your own online presence. You wanna have your own email mailing list and you wanna have your own uh, website, because then if something does happen with Facebook, you know, there have been times where Facebook was down for a whole day and I wanted to get a message out. So I was like, okay, I'll just send an email. So you want to have a lot of different approaches and different ways to reach your clients or potential clients. I would like to share with you today, my social media success strategy and this social media success strategy this, if you implemented this in with your social media, just this, besides everything else that I'm talking about, this will change your social media results forever. Okay, so this is tried and tested. It's, um, you know, this is 20 years of internet marketing and it's not just social media. It's your email marketing, it's your website, it's your whole online presence if you follow this formula. 50% of the time that you spend on your social media, you want to be branding yourself. You want to be being you, I say. Branding yourself, building and deepening relationships. And what does this look like? It looks like connecting with people, liking, commenting, sharing other people's content, you know, sharing on your personal profile in a way that is authentic and personal for you. It's not, it's something you can't pay someone else to do. So my company, in addition to teaching, I also offer some done for you services, but I won't do this. I will not be represent somebody and, and be them because it doesn't work. Okay. This is if you are going to hire someone to do your social media, this is the part that you do. And then you hire them to do the other two parts of this that I'm going to talk about. So you want to be intentional with your social media 50%. Again, it's, you know, liking, commenting and sharing people's content that either they're strategic partners, which means they sell something complimentary to you to different than you, but to the same target market. They're active on social media. If their last post was um, last December, they're not a good strategic partner. Your message is in alignment because if your message is not in alignment with their message, you're not gonna wanna share their content. You can share quotes, images, stories, life experiences, you know, things that reflect your core message. And when I say your core message, your message about what's important to you. So for example, I had a client who is a realtor and you know, you can only share so many listings of homes. So she would share about the listings and then she would also share uh, she was involved in some causes, like she was involved in the cause of Alzheimer's and she was involved in the cause of, um, of uh, for the developmentally disabled. So it's like she would share about those causes. You can share things that are important to you. And this is how we use social media to raise consciousness and to, to rise above the chatter that is annoying on social media. And I'll just leave it at that. You know, be a voice of higher consciousness. Okay. And so um, that's 50% of your time. Okay. And that's primarily on your personal Facebook. So the way I describe it is on your personal Facebook, you share your passion for your business. On your business Facebook, you share your business. Then 40% of your time is educate, inspire, and motivate. This is positioning you as the expert and thought leader in your field. So this is on your personal and your business page. On your personal page, it's personal quotes, personal things that are important to you. And on your business page, it's business kind of quotes, like maybe motivational or things that position you as a leader. You know, it doesn't always have to be about your business because 
it not only is it your business that's monetizable, but it's who you are that's monetizable. That's my coach, Katarina Rando always says that. It's who you are that's monetizable. And that's what you want to communicate in your social media. You want to share content that your ideal clients would be engaging with, attracted to, leaning into when they see it in their newsfeed or when they come to your business page or your personal page. So you're thinking about them. What would my ideal client want to see that they would say, oh, oh yes, this I resonate with this content. Yes. And lean in and want to know more. And you can pay someone to do this, but make sure that you are involved if you are paying someone to do this. You can't just hand this off to your teenager or an intern. You can hand it off to a social media expert, but if you hand it off to someone who isn't really an expert, they could be doing things with your social media that, uh, that are gonna be on there forever and are not really how you wanna brand yourself. So what you want to do with your educational content, you want, I always say you want to meet people at their map of the world and then bring them to your expertise. In other words, you have to think about what is the struggle that my ideal client struggles with that I am the answer to, okay? So three of the most highly searched terms on the internet are anxiety symptoms, stress symptoms, and depression symptoms. So if what you're doing can fit into any of those, think about that. But think about it in terms of how can I express in my content that I get what they're looking for? And then you wanna share the transformation. Share the transformation that your clients experience, share the transformation that your products and services offer. So think about that in terms of, um, you know, if you're sharing stories, make sure to get permission to share the names or use different names. You can share articles, share images, share videos, etc. So that's your 40% on your personal and business page. And then 10% is promote, and that's mostly on your business page. You could do a little promotion on your personal page, but mostly on your business page. But you can't even do any kind of ads or boosting on your business page, I mean, on your personal page, sorry. So um, promotion, and I recommend for promotion that you promote something that's free, okay? So you can't, uh, you know, on Facebook, people expect, the promotions, they expect to be able to get an idea, have a sample, have something free. So one of the things that I have recommended is um, free could be 100% money back guarantee if that's something you can do, or free could be, you know, some kind of a weekly, you know, webinar, some kind of a, a, a private group where people can come in and have a, you know, Q&A or something like that. So there's lots of things to do for free, but a free thing is a way to bring people in to get to know more about what you're doing and you can promote it. You can promote it as an event. You can promote it through um, on your business page and a little bit on your personal page. Notice how I keep saying a little bit on your personal page. You have to be really careful now more than ever about promoting on the personal page. I want to talk about the one degree shift. So it's the it's the one degree whole heart shift that will make all the difference. The internet is like uh, the analogy I use is like if a ship is taking off toward a destination and you shift the trajectory by one degree, the ship could end up on a different continent. And it's the same thing with the internet, with social media. If you don't, if you're not on the right path then you can be doing all these things and ending up getting no results because you are on the wrong trajectory. So what is the right starting point? What's the starting point on social media? The starting point for your social media is your niche, okay? So when you log on to Facebook, what's the first thing you think? Usually most people think, what should I say? Well, that's not the first question, okay? 
So the first step to powerfully mastering the internet is to think about your niche. And the first question you wanna ask yourself is, who am I talking to? Okay, so it's not what should I say, it's who am I talking to? And then you wanna think about that in terms of the, their age range. You wanna think of it in terms of gender, in terms of you know, what are the things that are interesting? What are the things that, what are the psychographics and the demographics and everything about that person that will cause them to engage in your content? So the first question is, who am I talking to? The next question is, how do I help them? What is the struggle and how do I help them? And then the next question is, what is the transformation that I offer? And with the niche, you can have more than one niche. I always tell people you have to pick a niche and people go out of their bodies with, but I have a couple of niches or numerous niches. You can have more than one niche. The thing is it's one marketing message per campaign. So I always tell people shoot the bullseye arrow in to um, the middle and you will hit some of the other age ranges, some of the other niches. So you wanna think about indirect sales. I recommend of course that you're, you're selling product and then you're, you're gonna hit some of the people in terms of offering the business opportunity. So they can be um, on the same business page and maybe you have two different groups, but you wanna be having one consistent message because otherwise, you know, people land on your social media and two seconds later, they bounce off because your message doesn't resonate with them. So you wanna think about who am I talking to? How do I help them? What's the struggle? What do I offer? Which is the actual, what do I offer? And what is the transformation that they experience from what they get from me? And then the next thing you wanna think about is, and this is the missing link to your internet marketing success, okay? This is like a super tip. The missing link to your internet marketing success is that you have to have your own online presence. You have to have your own email mailing list, maybe constant contact or uh, MailChimp, something like that. But you have to have a way to keep in touch with people so that you're not relying on social media. So if you got in Facebook jail or if you got, um, you know, Facebook was down or whatever, you would still have a way to get in touch with people. The other thing is that, um, you know, I always say that if you don't have an email mailing list, then using social media is like chasing a flash mob because you're just, you know, you find somebody on Facebook and then they're on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and LinkedIn and, you know, you, wherever you find people, you wanna get them on your list. And because then you can stay in touch with them until they're ready for you. How many times have you talked to somebody about the business and then they're like, no, no, no. And then six months later, you see them in someone else's business and maybe it's even someone else's products and completely different business because you didn't stay in touch with them. It's crucial that you have an email mailing list. And again, back to the 50, 40, 10, that your emails are 90% give and 10% promote. Because if your emails are just sell, 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 people will delete them. And uh, you know, then you won't get anything from that anyway. So it has to be uh, your emails are of value, their education, information, inspiration. So now that's the um, W-H-O-L and the E is <clears throat> the expression. So instead of what should I say, if every day when you went onto your Facebook, you said, who am I talking to? How do I help them? What's the struggle? What am I offering? What's the transformation? And then you started to post and then you started to connect and to like, comment, share, and care. I guarantee you will start to notice a difference in the level of engagement that you get, in the quality of your connections and referrals, and it will really change your social media experience. So the heart in whole heart is 
uh, you know, bring your whole heart to your online presence. In other words, share as much of your heart as you can. One of the things you might have already noticed is how much more engagement you get when you really share things from your heart. And it, uh, again, I know that sometimes it can feel, you can feel very vulnerable and overexposed and you don't want to be sharing, um, you know, things that you feel uncomfortable with and you can dip one toe in and test the waters. But the more you can share from your heart within your brand, staying focused on your brand, <clears throat> the more engagement you're going to get. So that's the H. The E is the experience. Share your experience, your experiences with your business, your experience with your clients, the passion of it on your personal page and the business of it on your business page and your own experience. Be authentic, of course. Build relationships, focus on building relationships. If you're gonna use Messenger, use it to connect in an authentic way. Don't just plaster ads in people's uh, you know, Messenger, use that. It's Messenger is like texting for this particular strategy. So it's intimate and personal and you want to keep it that way. Messenger is to, you know, invite someone to a Zoom connect or it's to, you know, it's to invite them to a networking event or to just say, hey, how are you doing? I was thinking about you. But it's not to promote unless you have permission from them to promote through Messenger. And then share the transformation, of course, of you as well as sharing the transformation of your clients. So today what we talked about was leveraging the power of the internet to have a sustainable business and life. We talked about the whole heart path to attract your ideal clients, the 12 steps to the words whole heart. We talked about the missing link to your internet marketing success, which is building your own online presence, including your email marketing. And then we talked about the social media success strategy, which is the 50, 40, 10, 50% 50 brand yourself, 40% educate, inspire, and motivate, and 10% promote. So my hope is that you will walk away from this webinar with some strategies that you can use to really change your experience, to bring your whole heart essence to your online presence. I would love, love, love to stay connected with you. And there's a few ways that we can do that. One way is that you can sign up for my Whole Heart Marketing um, Report. It's a non-techie strategies in plain English to grow your online presence. It's on my website. Please go and like my business page and please join my public group. And especially if you had questions about this webinar, you can put those in the group and I will answer them for you. Um, if it's an extensive question, I'll do a Facebook Live or a blog. If it's a quick question, I'll answer it right there in the group. And then the other thing is, um, you know, I'm creating a, an eight week special training for you to take your results to the next level. And I know I talked about a lot of things today and I didn't go in depth into them. But in this training, I will be going in depth into these uh, topics that I talked about today on how to catapult your social media results with the Whole Heart Marketing Social Media Influence Builder Program. It's a comprehensive training on social media that will make all the difference. It's eight modules and you will get a recordings, the uh, a workbook and templates and you're gonna learn where to play and what to say. You're gonna learn about free and paid reach on Facebook strategies, how to create your whole online presence on any social media platform, including LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. And you're gonna learn how to make your social media matter. One of the most common things I hear from people is, my social media doesn't really matter. And that is my commitment to you, is you're really gonna learn how to make your social media matter and how to get the results that you want. Uh, I'd love to share the success from one of my clients. She just gave me this testimonial, actually, so I'm super excited. As I complete my most successful month in TCS by Swarovski, I celebrate my achievements. My team is flourishing as well. Through attending Diana's social media class, I've grown hands-on and intellectually, thriving during COVID-19 with higher sales than the year previous. I'm loving being in her program and I attribute my growth to Diana's passion to help others grow by teaching social media skills. Tracy Antai, TCS by Swarovski. And then my coach and uh, 
um, uh, also client, Katerina Rando. Um, Diana Morgan really knows her stuff. She is very knowledgeable about blogging and business and social media overall. She's very positive and uplifting. And I always learn a lot from her and I have a clear picture of what is next after talking to Diana. I've had her teach her social media and blog secrets to my clients and they've all loved it. So I am looking forward to reconnecting with all of you through the eight week program. And you'll be hearing more about that. And in the meantime, please stay connected with me. And I thank you so much for watching this webinar. And I look forward to hearing from you on my social media. Take care and have a fantastic day.